Not long after the Bible began, Jacob lived in the land of Canaan, the fine example of a family man. Jacob, Jacob and sons depended on farming to earn their keep. Jacob, Jacob and sons spent all of their days in the fields with sheep. Jacob was the founder of a whole new nation. Thanks to the number of children he had, he was also known as Israel, but most of the time, his sons and his wives used to call him Dad! Jacob! Jacob and sons! Men of the soil and the sheep and crook! My favorite wife, I never really loved another all my life. Joseph was my joy because he reminded me of her. Through young Joseph, Jacob lived his youth again, loved him, praised him, gave him all he could, but then it made the rest feel second best. And even
welcome to Takeaway Jam. Now let's listen to what Joseph said to his brothers in his old age. Let's just flick on all the way to chapter 50 and to verse 20. There we read this. Joseph said to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Now remember that as we go back to chapter 37 again, where we were left at last week, and we catch up with 17-year-old Joseph. Now remember, his brothers thought he was a snitch. They thought he was spoilt when he was given the coat, and they thought that Joseph felt he was above them when they heard about the dreams. Now, in chapter 37, we read that the brothers had gone to graze their father's flocks near Shechem. Now, that is many miles away from home. And Joseph is sent by his father to go and see how they're getting on. When they see Joseph approaching, their hatred and jealousy for Joseph had reached boiling point and they decided to kill him. But there are two brothers that don't want to kill Joseph. Let's have a look. Verse 21, Reuben the eldest, he suggests that they put him down a dry well and Reuben plans to rescue him later and take him back to Jacob. The brothers seem to agree to this and Reuben then seems to move on with his sheep for a while. Now, when Reuben returns, he's distraught to find that Joseph has gone. We read that Judah, he also didn't want to kill J Joseph. He saw a caravan of Ishmaelites. Now, a caravan wasn't a house on wheels. It means a group of travellers. And he sold Joseph to them for the price of a slave. Now, Reuben and Judah, they seem better than the other brothers, don't they? However, they all decide to lie and trick their father into believing that Joseph had died. They dipped his coat into goat's blood. So it looked like Joseph had been attacked and killed by a wild animal. Now, do you remember the verse I read to you right at the beginning? Let me read it to you again. Many years later, Joseph said to his brothers, and it's in chapter 50, verse 20, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. We're not told what Joseph was thinking as he was thrown into the well or sold as a slave. But we can see in his old age that Joseph can look back to that time and see that God was with him. God is good and God had a great rescue plan for his family. Now, before we finish, let's turn all the way to the New Testament. So this is after Jesus had come down to earth after his teaching, his death on the cross, when he came back alive again and ascended back up to Father God. We read in Acts chapter 7 that Stephen, who knew that Jesus was God's son and had died for him, well, he was arrested for his faith in Jesus. And when he was on trial, he said this, because the patriarchs, the brothers, were jealous of Joseph, they sold him as a slave into Egypt, but God was with him and rescued him from all his troubles. Stephen wanted everyone to see who God is and that the same God who'd rescued Joseph also rescues us through Jesus. So nothing, not even death, can separate us from the love of God. So just like Joseph that we read about right at the beginning of the Bible and just like Stephen that we read about at the end of the Bible, today, no matter what life throws at us, we can trust and depend on our Lord who has rescued and saved us too. Well, that's enough for me. Bye for now. God bless. Bye. Now join with me, everybody sing I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise We give Him everything, He's good in every way Come on now join with me, everybody sing I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King
King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. He is always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out His awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. So bright, he leads us day by day to the one 